hey guys it's Shubham here and you are watching Tiff designer so in this illustrator tutorial i'm going to show how you could create this flat house in illustrator so let's get started so first get started by taking a new page and after that so first i'm going to change the background of this page to some gradient give it a gradient effect for that i am just choosing this gradient and first you have to choose this rectangular tool and drag it like this and after that you have to choose this gradient and now you have to go to the gradient options and from here choose the radical gradient and simply drag the corners like this to increase the radius of it like this so that's it press ctrl 2 to lock it this background into its place and now after that you have to choose the rectangle tool to create the upper part of the house so here i'm choosing the color you can choose the color of your choice so here i choose the maroon color and i'm turning off the outline now you have to drag the drag like this to create a rectangle and with the help of direct selection tool drag these corners to create a rounded rectangle to create after that you have to choose the the selection tool and drag it like this rotate it as per your choice now i'm going to simply copy it and flip it so right click on it go to arrange sorry transform and now go to reflect from here you could preview it and simply press copy which because i want to copy it so as you can see the shape is flipped as well as copied and now you can use the arrow keys to place it into its place you could zoom it using the alt and the cursor on the mouse easily like it and your shape is ready upper part you could simply merge it for that you have to uh, select it like this go to part finder and select the first option called unite so this you have united this into the one single shape and now i'm going to create the lower part of the heart for that i am choosing this orange color and uh, after you have chosen the color of your choice you have to again choose the rectangle tool and drag something like this you are free to choose the shape size as per your choice so here i'm just uh, selecting this size and now with the help you choose the paint tool add anchor point tool like this and with the help in the midpoint of this rectangle click once to add an anchor point and simply drag upwards with the help of direct selection tool so that you could create say get a shape like this and with the you could also increase the shape and for right click on it go to arrange and click same backward so that this shape goes backward and the upper part is front and it's hidden so now you have to choose the rectangle tool and for making creating the doors i am choosing the brown color and after that you have to simply drag like this and use the mouse to position the door into the mid of this house like this uh, the smart guides will help you in this illustrator and after that i am just simply going to create uh, choose the dark uh, simply dark brown color or and uh, after that I'm going to create a chimney as you can see so draw a rectangle something like this and now you can use the control and bracket keys to send backward or forward the shape so this is the shortcut of control bracket and if you want to send completely back or forward you have to use control shift and bracket keys like this so simply create a chimney like this so i'm going to give it a shadow lightning effect on this chimney for that uh, you have to simply copy it press ctrl c to copy and ctrl f to paste on its same place after that you have to change the color one of its color i am choosing the darker color and after that you have to with the help of selection tool simply drag the upper part of the rectangle like this repeat the same process on this also press ctrl c and f to copy and paste and now change the color to something darker so that a shadow effect uh, will be on one side and lightning on the other side and with the help of selection tool you could simply drag it 
and make it smaller as you can see it's really looking realistic and now here I am going to make the uh, doors handle for that I am using this gray color and with the help of rectangle tool you have to create like this use these dots and simply you have to choose the direct selection tool and drag it once to create a rounded like this so here in this I am also giving, going to create a lightning effect for that I am going to copy it simply drag alt press alt on the keyboard and drag with the mouse to make a copy and I am going to as you can see give, give, give one of its shape to a white color and again similarly you can press control bracket keys to move one of its shape to backward and one of its shape to the front as you can see so so here I am going to place this white color into the back of this gray like this so that's it <coughs> after that I am going to make the corners rounded for that you could simply press shift and click these dots to select it and as you can see the corners are rounded similarly press this dot while holding the shift key and drag the mouse to round it so if I want to round this shape you can also do that simply click this dot with the help of direct selection tool so as you can see now I am selecting the ellipse tool to create a circle on the above of this door like this you can say this another chimney so after that I am going to create give a black color to it so that's all uh, you, as you can see you are e it's really easy to create a simple heart house in the illustrator so if you found this video helpful make sure you like and subscribe to our channel now and more exciting tutorials coming up so that's all